Marvel's magic makers, visual effects workers take a stand to unionize. TL, DR, for the first time in the visual effects industry's history, 50 workers at Marvel Studios across LA, New York, and Atlanta have sought unionization with the National Labor Relations Board, intending to join the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, IATSE. The move calls attention to the working conditions at Marvel Studios and sets a potential precedent for the entire industry. A pioneering move. In a groundbreaking step, the craftsmen behind the dazzling visual effects of Marvel's blockbusters have chosen to pursue unionization. Since the 1970s, the visual effects industry has typically avoided unionization, but the winds of change are beginning to blow. What does this mean for an industry accustomed to a particular way of working? The call for change. Some visual effects workers at Marvel Studios have been vocal about their dissatisfaction with working conditions. The push towards unionization is likely a response to these concerns, but what exactly are the issues being raised? Could they be symptoms of a larger problem within the industry? The potential impact. With 50 workers across key locations signing authorization cards with the National Labor Relations Board, this move could have a far-reaching impact. If the bid is successful, it may set a precedent for other workers within the visual effects industry. Does this reflect a broader trend of workers seeking more rights and better conditions in the entertainment industry? Could it change the dynamics of how visual effects are created for big screen productions? Unionization and the future. Joining the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees could give visual effects workers more leverage in negotiating their terms of employment. It could foster a new era of collaboration and mutual respect between employers and employees. Is this the beginning of a new chapter for the visual effects industry? What other industries might follow suit? In conclusion, the decision of Marvel's visual effects workers to take steps towards unionization is a significant one. It highlights the importance of workers' rights and the potential necessity for change within an industry that has historically been non-unionized. The movement towards unionization may indeed be a reflection of a broader societal shift towards prioritizing employees' welfare. But how will this move reshape the dynamics within the industry, and could it possibly impact the quality or cost of visual effects in our favorite films? What are your thoughts on the unionization of visual effects workers? Could this signal a shift in the entertainment industry's landscape, or is it a unique occurrence isolated to Marvel Studios? How might this affect the future of visual effects in film? First seen at WRVO.